It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Glen Averick Brewery and Beatniks Republic, and it's a can of their Sunset Boulevard Apricot and Peach Sour, coming in at 3.2% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. There's a look at the beer. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Lovely little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. Now I'm just getting round to this beer. I will be perfectly honest with you, my viewers. I'm just getting round to this. I was up at Glen Averick Brewery in March. It's now September. Uh, they sent me home with this lovely beer. Oh, it's like Piccadilly train station, yeah, sometimes with the door knocking all the time. Blimey, oh, it's like all day at the moment. Um, not that I'm complaining at all. Uh, but yeah, where was I? I was talking about, yeah, I come back from Glen Averick Brewery uh, with these beers back in March. It's now September, so I've had the beer for six months, but it's a sour. It's a sour, so it's, the hops are not generally going to be, well, they might have dropped off a little bit, but it's a case of this is a, a sour forward beer rather than a hop forward beer. So it should be okay, even at 3.2% ABV. Good levels of carbonation. Slightly hazy amber coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that smells really good. Peaches, apricots, yes, and of course, that lovely sourness. Really lovely combination of three flavours here that I'm picking up. I'm picking up the malt. Not first and foremost, first and foremost I'm picking up that apricot. Apricot and peach. And then that kind of tantalising kind of sourness that's coming through. Shall we uh, dive into this one? Cheers everybody. That's lovely. Oh, it's got like, um, it's a real fruit kind of bomb, this one. Lots of apricot, lots of peach. The sourness comes through, lovely sour beer, but then you get this kind of lovely, as that sour dissipates, you get that lovely kind of, mmm, wheaty kind of biscuity flavour that follows. Very, very nice beer. Very, very nice. Nice levels of carbonation. Pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Releases more of that flavour. Cracking stuff. Let's see what the brewer says about this beer then. Collab brew with Beatniks Republic from the venerable Manchester brewing scene. The rich malt profile and kettle souring blends perfectly with the brighter fruit notes. The peach and the apricots deeper stone fruit flavour. Um, and it contained gluten, barley and oat. Unfiltered and pasteurised, suitable for vegans. Uh, I'm a massive fan of Glen Affric Brewery. Of course, I brewed my collaboration with them, the... Um, stone that goes over there which which has done really really well and i've just wanted i've just this whole kind of situation we've been in in 2020 um the reason why i've been so late with this beer i've just it's been like woof, i've never been busier it's been amazingly busy and i've been if i was to show you glen Africa beer after glen Africa beer things would probably you know you want to see other things so so i'm trying to mix and match all of these different beer machines that i've been unboxing and and all these different breweries that are sending me beers and of course first and foremost and i've always said this if one of my fans or a, a viewer of the channel sends me beers i will always put that first um just because that's my core viewership that is my core viewership the fans and if they send me beer i'm going to push that forward over um, over brewery 
cent beer. And that's just been my policy. It's always been my policy. Put the put the people who watch first. So what I for me that's the only way you should kind of deal with these situations, I think. The the the, the, the beer is perfect. 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 It's really tasty. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I like the combination of the malt, the sourness, the hops, and that peach and apricot flavour. Now I've put in the oven a pizza to review today. Uh, it's, a, it's a scarily spicy pizza uh, from Iceland. Even more scarier, even more spicy, which should be really, really cool, really, really nice. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some of the beer, some of this beer, because it's three point two percent ABV. It's very refreshing, very drinkable, and I think it's gonna, like, the citrusiness of the chili is gonna cut really nice with the, the citrus, citrusy kind of nature of the apricot and the peach in this beer. Uh, also tonight, uh, follow us at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. That'll be fantastic. Um, 7 p.m. Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, check that out. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, with Again, with the situation that's happening at the moment, things have changed. It's changing on a weekly basis. We had a fantastic live feed on Friday. Um, lots of, we had, we had over four, 500 people tuned in at any one time. It was absolutely fantastic. So it was a lot of fun. Um, doing sit-ups with a bread roll in my mouth. Um, amusing stuff, amusing stuff, after we've had a drink, of course. So I'm ready to rate this. I like it. I like it. I like the, I always like the fact that sourness, sour beers in general, cut through and they leave you with a, a lovely bready biscuity malty taste. I really enjoy that about about a beer. And this comes through that that comes through in this beer in abundance. Uh, I, I like the, the cleanness of the beer, the carbonation. Um, it's very, very refreshing. I like it. My first beer as well from Beatniks Republic. So I'm gonna rate this and I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Remember the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Should be fantastic. Lots of fun at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. Tuesdays and Fridays, 7pm. Stone the Crows and cheers.